This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming Chromebook. It just arrived in the office and we're super excited to take a look at this particular one. Uh, there are three of these gaming Chromebooks all together. There's one from Acer, one from Lenovo, this one here, and then one from Asus as well. And this one kind of matches a lot of what Acer has done with the Chromebook uh, 516 GE that we really love. So I'm really interested to get my hands on Lenovo's take on the cloud gaming centric Chromebook. So let's get in the box. All right, before we jump in, uh, quick specs. I think I know these off the top of my head, but just to look, yep, so we're at Core i5. It's a 1235U here. Uh, still a, a U series Core i5, so a plenty of power under the hood. But the Acer uh, gaming Chromebook actually comes with the 1240p processor, so there's a little bit more power under that hood specifically. So if you're looking at these two and going, eh, I'm eventually going to use it for like Steam gaming once that fully comes out of beta, um, then the Acer is going to have a little bit more horsepower for those kind of games. When it comes to cloud gaming, uh, either of these Core i5s are going to be just fine because all of that processing is happening in the cloud. And from my experience so far with these gaming focused Chromebooks, uh, they really are more um, aligned with cloud gaming in general and specifically GeForce Now. So uh, we're talking 120 uh, hertz refresh uh, display on this one. The same 16 inch uh, 16 by 10 layout as well. So we'll get into that here in just a second. Let me see if there's any other stats here. 8 gigs of RAM on this one, 256 gigs of NVMe storage. So again, just like the Acer version of this uh, idea of a Chromebook, this thing's not going to be lacking for power in any way, shape, or form. Um, we got upward firing speakers on this one, RGB keyboard. So all the little uh, gaming niceties are here, which we like to see for sure. Um, but if it's like the Acer, um, and I don't want to keep referencing it too much, but I really, really love that Chromebook. If it's like that, it's going to take all these gaming things and actually just make for a really nice Chromebook overall. Um, let's see if there's anything fun with the power brick here. No, pretty standard um, two piece. USB Type C power. Get this out of the way here. And obviously, for like the review, we'll we'll weigh this thing and see. But I was really happy with Acer's uh, overall weight. Uh, this one's kind of the same way. Like it's a big Chromebook. Don't get me wrong; it's a 16-inch Chromebook, but it doesn't feel wildly heavy, which is which is very nice. And at least closed up here. Um, you know, the aluminum lid feels really nice. I love this two-tone thing that Lenovo has been doing uh, with, with their recent Chromebooks. Uh, this thing just looks really, really nice. And again, uh, maybe not a ton of, I'm getting fingerprints all over it, not a ton of uh, gaming aesthetic um, going on on the outside. And I kind of like that because, yeah, it's great for games. It's got an RGB keyboard and all that stuff, but you also can get work done on it and take it to the office and not feel a little ridiculous for taking some crazy, um, crazy gaming laptop in with you. Uh, on the bottom, I don't think that's aluminum down there. It feels like it's plastic. Uh, nice big feet here. Um, nice fan ports. And then along the side, we've got a USB type A here, USB type C, Kensington lock. And then over here, uh, USB type A again, USB type C, headphone, microphone, micro SD card slot. So nice array of ports there. Um, a little bummed that they don't have a, a full size HDMI on here on devices this big. Definitely like to see that. Uh, let's get this. We'll give that a second um, so I can get logged in and all that kind of stuff. But um, you get the addition on this one of a numeric keypad over here. You get these upward firing speakers. Again, a 16 inch um, quad HD 120 hertz panel here. Uh, nice large trackpad that's centered with the keyboard here. Click mechanism feels pretty good. Um, and the bottom half of this thing, definitely all plastic here. Um, I would like to see some aluminum on the bottom just with devices this big, man, this much plastic can get a little, can get a little shifty and bendy. That keyboard feels very nice. Lenovo makes great keyboards. Um, keyboard feels really good. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's fire this thing up. I'll get logged in, do my kind of normal thing where I spend a little bit of time uh, with the keyboard and trackpad real quick, so I can kind of give you a quick idea. Uh, we'll we'll take a listen to the speakers and see how the screen looks, and uh, yeah, check it out and wrap it up. So getting all logged in and set up, I'm not shocked at all uh, to find that this is a great keyboard. This thing feels really, really good. Uh, and I, I do like the RGB lighting is a little brighter than what Acer did. Um, and so let me get, uh, where do I do that? So let's go keyboard brightness. And then I'm actually gonna turn on 
uh, turn on a couple colors here for you so you can see it like I can see it very clearly with the Acer under this kind of light I was having a hard time picking up some of the colors um, and again I'm a little color deficient so uh, it's not a complete knock on them but these colors I can pick up like all of them as I click through them I see those clearly uh, and even the the kind of rainbow RGB colors I can I can pick up on all of those even in this lighting so uh, kudos to them for really getting the uh, the backlighting plenty bright enough so you can take advantage of some of those fun colors that are there but over top of those colors is this fantastic keyboard and it, it does it feels great it's really quiet uh, but man, I, I, the, the feel of those keys feel fantastic. Lots of travel, lots of nice response and clickiness. And I appreciate the fact that with a 16 inch form factor, um, you're getting full size numeric keys over here on the side. Um, there's a lot of Chromebooks that they'll cram a, a numeric keyboard on the side. And I, I mean, that's fine, but when they're really narrow, it's, it's difficult because just like typing, most people that use uh, a number pad on the side, do that without looking down so they want to be able to enter numbers without you know thinking too much about it so when those keys aren't quite the size that they should be it takes away from that experience so you're getting a full size uh, numeric keypad over here as well and i listened to the speakers on this and they're really nice um, I'd, I'd like them to be a tad louder but man the the sound of them is, is really great take a listen to this and with the power of chrome os flex the spoken word sounds great to a killer chromebook get a little bit of bass response there so um, obviously I have to test that out with some with some uh, uh, GeForce Now gaming and stuff um, I, I I like the fact that some of these Chromebooks have better enough like good enough speakers they're not amazing or blow your mind good but they're good enough that if I jump into a game and I don't have headphones on me and it, I'm not in a spot where I, I feel bad about turning the speakers up I can turn it up and still feel kind of immersed in the content. So whether it's watching something or playing some games, uh, you can kind of get immersed into that content a bit. Uh, but the screen looks really great. And again, I know I keep going back to the Acer. And after we unbox, we're gonna unbox the Asus CX55 gaming Chromebook as well. Uh, I'll be talking about them in comparison to one another. Cause what I feel like is gonna happen probably with these devices is not none of them are going to be perfect some of them are going to have features that we want for other ones and stuff and so uh, i think that's going to be the case but with the the screen on this one i feel like it might be the same panel uh, i'm not completely sure but it gets nice and bright uh, you can see it kind of cranking up and getting super bright there um, turning it down for the cameras but it you know it's probably going to hit that 350 nits like the acer does it's the exact same resolution uh, exact same size so it's that 16 by 10 uh, quad hd uh, 16 inch so uh, that's a good thing because i really really loved using the panel on the acer and will likely enjoy just as much here on this lenovo and just like the acer it's not uh, it's not a touch screen so you kind of get used to not having that touch screen around on these gaming chromebooks uh, and one other thing i've noticed with this as i was setting it up and, and powering it on um, 120 hertz is there it looks great everything's smooth i can't show that to you on camera because we don't record at 120 hertz obviously uh, but what's interesting is when this one is on uh, or, uh on just its battery so when we take the charger out off of it um you actually it feels like it goes down to like a 60 hertz so it looks more like a standard chromebook um, it looks fine you know it's not like it's a problem um, and it's kind of save a lot of battery for sure uh, but there's no setting to to let me change that so if i'm not on a charge and i go to play a game i'm not going to get that 120 hertz on this thing um, so I, hopefully that's a, a setting that's coming i mean we've we've long advocated for better power management in general for Chromebooks. Like I feel like there needs to be a section for that. Like let me, if I, if I have a, a variable frame rate, let me change that. Um, let me change what the default screen brightness does when I'm off a uh, charger. Let me, you know, tell it to, to pipe the processor down a little bit when, when I'm off the charger, if I choose. But then if I'm like, I don't have a battery pack on me or I don't have an easy way to get to a charger, but I'm cool with ripping through my battery for the next hour, let me choose to do that too. So hopefully uh, that's a, that's an update that comes to Chrome OS, uh, all the tools I think are here for that to be a thing. Uh, it's just not a thing yet. But early impressions of this thing, uh, I like a lot of it. I, I wish that there was a little more metal in the bottom of the chassis. It's a little more flexible than I want. Not wildly so, but with these big Chromebooks, there's just so much weight spread around. I mean, it's just it's just sheer physics. Uh, a little more metal would have been appreciated, I think. Here, keyboard looks and feels great. This trackpad, I don't think is glass, but it, it's super duper smooth. Has a great 
quiet click mechanism to it. Uh, I like that. I love the full size numeric key keypad. I like the speakers already. Love this screen. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun to, to test drive this one a little bit, kind of compare it a little bit with the with the Acer. One other thing I'll let you look at real fast before we get out of here. Uh, I'll check the camera out here, make sure that I didn't smudge that thing. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Acer's been doing this like temporal noise reduction thing in software, uh, and their their cameras look pretty good. Even if the, the camera itself isn't great, they're doing some software tweaks. I'm gonna look at Joe over there. That's not doing too bad. So uh, the dynamic range is, is handling that pretty good because he's kind of dark back there, and we got a bunch of light flooding on, over here. So. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, the the image is soft. I think it's a 1080p webcam. Let me look real fast. Uh, yeah, so 1080p webcam. Not gonna blow anybody's mind here, but as long as the dynamic range is good on these cameras, um, and, and you put it with good speakers, and they make for good video calling Chromebooks as well. We know under the hood this thing has got an i5 and eight gigs of RAM. It's going to be fast, very, very fast. It's going to push all your external monitors, all you need. Uh, it, you will have to have a dongle because there's no HDMI on here. I do wish they would have added that. But overall, I think this is going to be a cool Chromebook to test drive. I think it's going to do very well with cloud gaming. And it's probably going to be a really fun Chromebook to use just at the desk on a day-to-day -day basis as well. But for now, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.